morning to you. It's another miracle day. The Word is alive, and it's working in your life. You meditate in it, and it comes to pass. I've been talking to you the last few days about um, whatever you bind, whatever you loose, then heaven stands behind that. A lot of the problems that we have is because we allow them. I'm going to ask Pat to pick up on that. Don't let the devil come in and tell you, you got to have this. You don't have to have it. You don't have to allow it. That's right. You are the one in authority of your life. No one else. You have the right to choose whether or not you're going to be sick. There's been times that I'd get up and, and Satan would try to put some symptoms on me. And I go, uh-uh, you are not putting that on me. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. And do you know what? He has to flee. Or maybe he wants to put lack on you. Do you know that lack is under the curse Come that on. Jesus bore for you? Preach it now. Jesus became the curse of lack for you. And, well, we won't even go there about what lack is. But you have a choice of saying, no, I will not have lack. I choose wealth and riches. I choose abundance. I choose health. I allow health. And whatever you allow... God will allow. And we allow the blessings of God. Yes. Help me on this, Pat. And when the devil comes along with that other stuff, you say to him, eh, eh. not going to have it. That's exactly right. In the name of Jesus. God has given you the name. He has given you the blood of Jesus. He has given you the angels. And he has given you authority over your life. So choose life today. And guess what? Life is what you're going to have. And y'all have a great day.